welcome back students to the second part of our fourth chapter climate so today we are going to study figure 4.3 on page number 26 of our geography textbook in the last video we already studied the heat zones of the world okay and we've also studied the orographic type of rainfall so if you go to see india lies in the northern hemisphere and on the eastern side of the in the eastern side of the world okay and this is the tropic of cancer which passes through mid india so india experiences both the tropical and the subtropical type of climate now we move on to the orographic type of rainfall so we already know that the for the orographic uh, type of rainfall the mountains act as an obstruction or the relief feature they act as an obstruction here so these for example these are the western ghats okay the sahyadri mountains and these are the southwest monsoon winds so what happens these winds okay they are forced to move up they are forced to rise up on the mountain okay the rising wind starts start cooling and condensation takes place and thus results in cloud formation these clouds then bring heavy rainfall so if you go to see they bring heavy rainfall to the windward side of the mountain so if you go to see if we compare it to india so this would be the coastal region okay and these would be the western ghats but when these clouds they descend or they move to the other part of the side or the mountain okay the winds become dry and there is less rainfall so this area is called the rain shadow area so in india we mostly experience the orograph we actually experience the orographic type of rainfall the western side of the western ghats receives heavy rainfall but the eastern side this is the eastern side being a rain shadow area receives only moderate type of rainfall or less rainfall we move on to figure 4.3 page number 26 of our textbook the first question asked is which region gets more than 4000 mm of rainfall so if we, first we go to the index first we have to go to the index so regions with more than 4000 mm of rainfall here it is shown in dark blue okay so some part of western coastal regions so this is the western coastal region and here some areas are marked in dark blue so some parts of western coastal region receive more than 4000 mm of rainfall then we have mohsin ram and chera punji so we have mohsin ram and chera punji here okay they too receive it's shown in dark blue so they too receive more than 4000 mm of rainfall then we have arunachal pradesh and assam so again this area is shown in dark blue so this is assam and arunachal pradesh so these are the regions which experience more than 4000 mm of rainfall the next question identify the regions with maximum and minimum temperatures again we'll have to move on to the index so in the index here this is the index and they have shown us with the help of line okay so the temperatures they have shown with the help of line so these are the isotherms so the maximum temperature is 29 degrees so where do we find 29 degrees so here it is some parts of gujarat and rajasthan so this is gujarat and rajasthan so some parts of gujarat and rajasthan okay then we have uh, some parts of andhra pradesh and karnataka we have some parts of orissa and we have the lakshadweep islands and the andaman and nicobar islands here okay so these are the regions which have maximum temperature 29 degree centigrade we move on to the next thing minimum temperature so the regions with minimum temperature are shown uh, here 20 degrees okay so these are some parts of kerala and tamil nadu we know kerala is here and tamil nadu is here so some parts of kerala and tamil nadu then we have jammu and kashmir here okay then we move on to meghalaya this is meghalaya and arunachal pradesh here okay 
The next question, in which direction is the temperature increasing? Now, for this we need to keep in mind that the Tropic of Cancer passes from the mid of India and the southern tip of India is close to the equator. Okay, that's the region. The southern part will experience more heat and it lies in the tropical belt. Okay, so the temperature increases in the southern direction. The next question. Identify the directions of the winds shown what are they known as now these are the winds okay these are the winds okay so this is the south so these are the and this is the west western part of india so the southwest the direction of the winds is southwest so the winds are the winds are in the di in the southwest direction they are known as southwest monsoon winds so india gets rainfall basically from southwest monsoon winds the next question which winds are responsible for the rainfall in India? So the winds that are responsible for the rainfall in India are southwestern monsoon winds. Move on to the next question. Some part of Rajasthan is under desert. What could be the reason for it? For this we need to keep in mind that land gets heated and cooled faster than water. So what happens in summer? In summer the land gets heated. So because of the high temperature, okay, the air surrounding it also gets hot. Now, because the air gets hot, we already know that when the air get hot, uh, gets heated up, it moves in the upward direction. So once it moves, starts moving in the upward direction, the region below it, okay, there's a low pressure area created below it. So what happens in this case? winds from the high pressure area okay they move to the low pressure zone created okay so we need to keep this in mind so let's move on to the answer in summer the temperature is very high in rajasthan as a result a low pressure area develops this attracts winds from the high pressure region in the Indian Ocean, this is the Indian Ocean, which start blowing towards the mainland of India. So winds from the high pressure area in the Indian Ocean, because of high temperature in Rajasthan, they start blowing towards the mainland of India. Now, once they start moving to the mainland of India, they are obstructed by the eastern and western ghats. So these are the western ghats and these are the eastern ghats. So because of the western ghats, the coastal land, okay, the coast, this particular, the Konkan region receives more rainfall. So we've already studied the orographic type of rainfall. So the western ghats, they act as an obstruction and the coastal region experiences more rainfall. So the eastern part of the western coast, okay, they experience less rainfall because it falls, this is called the rain shadow region or the leeward side. The rainfall reduces in the leeward side of the hill. These winds then blow parallel to the Aravalis. So these winds then move upward in the upward direction, okay, and they move parallel to the Aravali hills or the ranges. So these are the Aravali hills, okay. So these winds move parallel. Now we already know that these winds have less moisture in them, but because this particular part is very hot, again the winds are they become uh, full with moisture but since they have no obstruction okay and they're running parallel to the Arablis this part of the region experiences less rainfall or no rainfall and hence this region is a desert region okay so the reason to is this is why uh, Rajasthan is under desert because of the Aravali ranges they run parallel to the southwest monsoon winds clear the next question draw the main parallel of latitude passing through India which affects its climate refer to figure 2.1 on page number 10 so they are asking us to refer uh, to refer to the figure 2.1 that means they are asking us to refer to the second chapter location and extent so in the second chapter we've already seen the latitude okay which affects latitude and in later I just remember 
लेटे रहना सो लैटिट्यूड मीन्स दी हॉरिजोंटल लाइन्स लेटे हुए लाइन्स ओके सो दैट लैटिट्यूड विच पासिस थ्रू इंडिया इज द ट्रॉपिक ऑफ कैंसर एंड इट अफेक्ट्स द क्लाइमेट ऑफ इंडिया and it divides india into two zones the tropical and the subtropical zone the next question in which part of peninsula india are semi arid climatic conditions found and why so here we have to pay attention they have asked us peninsula india so we've already studied this is peninsula in physiographic physiography and drainage we have studied the divisions of india the physical divisions of india so this is the peninsula region of india so they have asked us in which part of peninsula india are semi arid climatic conditions found and why so we have to consider these peninsula region so in this region we have to find the semi arid conditions now first to understand semi arid we first need to understand what is the meaning of arid so arid means a land that does not have enough water to support the growth of plants in simple language it's a barren or unproductive land because of lack of moisture or lack of rains so a very simple example just in the previous uh, slide we studied rajasthan so rajasthan is a arid region okay it is a desert region because there is very less rainfall okay which does it does not support growth of plants okay a desert is an example of an arid land now we move on to semi arid semi arid semi means half okay therefore semi arid means dry but having slightly more rain than an arid region or climate so we have to find semi arid regions in india in the peninsular region sorry we have to find the semi arid regions in the peninsular part of india so which are the uh, this is the peninsular part so let's see in which region we have the semi arid type of climate so here we have the semi arid for this we need to go to the index okay so regions which receive less than 500 okay they are shown in light faint blue so the, we already know that this is the peninsula region so they have asked about the peninsula region so the answer to this question is some parts of haryana okay some parts of haryana okay some parts of haryana western uttar pradesh eastern ranges of rajasthan western madhya pradesh so this is madhya pradesh Maharashtra that is the Marathwada region eastern Karnataka western Andhra Pradesh and Telangana and western Tamil Nadu so these are the semi semi arid regions of the peninsula india clear the next question why why do we experience semi arid climatic conditions the answer is very simple we have already studied and we been repeating the same thing every time okay india receives maximum rainfall from the southwest monsoon winds so these are the southwest monsoon winds the southwest monsoon winds are obstructed by the sayadri mountains okay these mountains hence it rains more in the coastal areas and rainfall reduces in the leeward side of the hills thus the deccan plateau receives less rainfall so this is the deccan plateau it receives less rainfall the aravalli range is parallel to the direction of the southwest monsoon winds as a result it is unable to obstruct the monsoon winds hence rajasthan receives less rainfall okay dear children we have come to an end of our today's presentation okay i know you have understood Thank you stay home stay safe